Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. I'm covering another topic associated with what entrepreneurs most struggle with. But basically today, I wanna to speak about how to stay positive and it's something that I wanna mention that I spoke about in an email I sent out a couple of days ago, which was having a set belief system that you've that you've built or created based off previous, previous events and then applying that to future events when it may not even be relevant. So for example, in the email, I mentioned that when I started entrepreneurship, for some, I had this feeling on the inside that I was like already, already failed. Before I even started, I'd given up internally and I was just like, no, this isn't gonna happen because I'm gonna try and then I'm gonna fail and then it's gonna be painful and I'm gonna have to find something else that I can do. And it's, I was just playing the victim in my brain in a way. And it took me a while to figure out why. And a few people said it to me and they were like, what else have you failed at in life? So what have you tried that's not gone well in the past? And they just asked me this question. And I was like, huh, well, I mean exams, like exams at school with sixth form. I tried really hard, revised so hard, didn't get the grades that I wanted, didn't get to the university that I really wanted to get to. Then I was climbing, I really wanted to go get onto the British team, go pro, didn't quite make it, wasn't quite good enough and I put in days and days and days, years of training and like hard work to get there and it didn't work out for me. And basically I'd taken those experiences and associated trying hard with pain. So because I tried hard at these things, so I tried hard to train to be pro boulderer, I tried hard to get good grades in school, and because I didn't succeed to my own expectations in those things, I then assume that anything I put in hard work with, I'm gonna fail. But whether I can do a hard boulder problem or pass an exam, that's not gonna determine if I'm successful at building an agency or being, be, be successful at being a LinkedIn consultant. I didn't study LinkedIn at school, it's nothing to do with physics or maths or whatever exam I didn't do well in. And I'd created this belief system that effort equaled failure, so you might as well not try. So it was my body kind of protecting myself and being like, oh, if you try hard, like you get a bad feeling afterwards, so let's, let's not go there. And that's what I did with the business and it took some mental interception for me to identify where this problem was and say, no, this isn't true because I'm scared of starting the business. You can't associate fear with the negative. And that is something I actually heard in a podcast recently that I listened to. And the girl was speaking about how with fear, we associate fear with everything negative. So obviously it's a fight or flight response. You will feel, feel fear and you'll either fight and confront it or you'll run away. And fear is a protective mechanism that your body has to keep you out of danger. And obviously fear is great if it's to genuinely stop you from being put in physical harm. So like don't run across, across a motorway because you might get run over. That's good fear to have because that's, you shouldn't do that. But fear could also be associated with something good that's about to have it happen. Having discomfort, being scared of starting a project, it doesn't mean you don't do it, but we assume that because we feel scared, we should stay away from it. And that's just our body's natural response, but we can also intercept it mentally and say, no, this is actually good fit. This could mean that I've got growth or something amazing could happen and I should push myself towards this discomfort and really just absorb it and go roll with it. So that's kind of what I wanted to speak about in terms of a shift and when you identify where this problem is with yourself, you'll probably realize that the reason you're not succeeding is because you're holding yourself back from it because of an internal belief system that you are applying to the situation that's completely not relevant. So have a think about it and think about whether, like what the real reason is as to why you haven't started this new business idea or this project. What is the reasoning behind that? Because it's probably not that you're not capable of doing it. It's just because there's something holding you back that's stopping you from pursuing it in the first place. Another thing I wanted to mention is practicing gratitude and celebrating the small wins. I think people are very hard on themselves nowadays. I know I definitely have been, still sometimes am. A lot of other people that I speak to are. We all have goals for ourselves. If you don't have goals, you should set goals. Um, but we all have these like big goals that we set for ourselves, but it's it's easy to also disregard the things that we do on a micro level, on a small basis that still matter, still count. So when I celebrate the small wins, a small win for me is getting up on time in the morning. That's like a big deal. If I get up on, out of bed on my alarm 
I know I'm gonna have the best day ever because that took me a lot of discipline, a lot of hard work to drag myself out of bed. I've already like won the day. That's a small win for me. Going to the gym, that's another small win. Making sure I meditate for 10 minutes in the morning, another small win. Writing down three things I'm grateful for and a daily affirmation, which I do every day. And I write out the titles for everything the day before. Um, they're small wins for me and they all build up and pile on top of each other to make you feel good about yourself. So it kind of ends up making you feel happier and more positive about the rest of your day because you've already won it before you've even started, if that makes sense. Something else that I really wanted to mention as well is something that I still struggle with now and I have to remind myself that everything is temporary. Nothing is gonna last forever <laughs> unless you let it. So if you're going through a tough time with business, if you're having a bad day, a bad week, a bad month, a bad quarter, a bad year, this isn't gonna be your life forever. Like how you feel right now in this moment is not gonna last and things are temporary. And this is one of the main reasons that I meditate is because it reminds me that things are temporary, things like thoughts, they come and go. They feel really real and they are real to you in that moment and they might make you feel pain, joy, sadness, like different emotions but you feel it so vividly when it's happening, when you're going through that, you'll, you will have forgotten how it made you feel a couple hours later. And you can apply the same thing to a, a, a sort of more overview level of what's happening in your life. If you're having a bad month financially, it happens. Like we're human, like I've had bad months, I've had good months. And at the time it feels like the worst thing in the world, but you'll only stay in that bad month if you don't change anything. So if you then say, okay, I've had a, I've had a really bad month it's okay, but what have I done that's made it be a bad month and what could I change next month that could mean I don't have to go through this again and then you shift something, adapt it and your result is gonna be different. So anyway, that, I think they're the main parts that I wanted to cover in this video. I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you found it useful and I'm gonna be uploading this probably same day of filming today and then there'll also be another video on anxiety which I will be releasing and then the other ones will be a few routine ones I'm going to throw in some on LinkedIn as well so let me know any ideas that you want me to film for videos below in the comments and I'll make sure to check them out and film them for you guys so hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one